okay students so question number 12 i guess you can do yourself also the radius of air bubble is increasing at the rate this one so radius of air uh, bubble is increasing with the rate half centimeter per second okay so air bubble is in the shape of a spherical right so its radius it is increasing with the rate what half centimeter per second so with respect to time they have given so radius if i take r so dr by dt is given is equal to half centimeter per second okay then what you have to find is <clears throat> at what rate is volume of the bubble increasing when the radius is one centimeter so first rate of change of volume you find out okay at what rate is the volume of the bubble increasing they are asking okay so dv by dt you have to find out okay and volume you know what is the volume of sphere put that formula here 4 by 3 pi r cube okay so if you differentiate this one 4 by 3 pi will be common 3 r square dr by dt you will get here right so dr by dt you put half there 4 by 3 okay 3 3 will get cancelled 4 pi r square into half so 2 2 so you will get 2 pi r square so this is the rate of change of volume okay okay so at when your r is equal to radius is equal to 1 they are asking what is the rate of change of volume right so dv at r is equal to 1 dv by dr will be what dt will be what 2 pi r I put it 1 here so 1 square will be how much it will be 2 pi only okay so 2 pi centimeter cube per second okay volume unit is centimeter cube per second so with this rate the volume will increase okay next question you can see <clears throat> a balloon which always remains spherical same question has a variable diameter they have given diameter radius you can easily find out what is radius diameter we know it is twice of r right so radius will be half of this two you bring this side diameter by 2 is equal to radius so in this case radius you have to find out radius will be how much 3 by 2 2x plus 1 this is your diameter by 2 half of diameter is your radius right by 2 means what it will get multiplied with this so 3 by 4 it will be okay so this is your radius number 13 this one okay so dr by dt is given right this time also has variable diameter okay find the rate of with respect to x they have asked you to find out so dv by this time volume with respect to x they have asked you to find out so d d x volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube again okay okay this is not a rate they have given simply diameter okay so this will be simply radius this is not rate okay this is your diameter they have said a balloon which always remains spherical has a variable diameter they have said simply diameter so radius will be this one okay so in place of this okay first you differentiate this one so it will be 4 by 3 pi 3 r square d this will be dr by dx right now see here what is your r r is 3 by 4 2x plus 1 so we will replace this one with this uh, value okay so what you will get 4 by 3 okay 3 3 will get cancelled right 4 let me take another page so this will be 4 r square 4 pi r square 4 pi r square dr by dx d dx r what it is 3 by 4 2x plus 1 okay here also you can replace it uh, okay i will replace this one in the next step 4 pi r square so 3 by 4 whole square okay 2x plus 1 whole square now differentiating this one now see here if you differentiate this one this is constant it will come out 3 by 4 now if you differentiate this portion what it will be d dx of 2x plus 1 2x will get differentiated and you will you will get only 
2 here okay and remember 3 by 4 will be outside so it will get multiplied to everything so whatever comes out here it will be multiplication okay this will be 2 plus again this will be how much ddx of 1 is 0 so you will get only 2 here okay so 2 2 gone okay so here 1 4 will be gone from here right so this will be pi 3 square 3 cube 3 square into 3 3 cube by here only 1 4 will be left out 1 4 will get cancelled with this this is 4 square right so 1 4 will get cancelled with this and 1 4 will be left out 4 into 2 8 2x plus 1 whole square okay so 3 cube means it will be 27 pi by 8 <coughs> 2x plus 1 whole square okay so this will be your answer dv by dt you please mention okay okay i will give you notes for this okay v is nothing but volume you mention when you write down let r be the radius <coughs> and then v be the volume volume uh, this way you mention in the statement okay next is question number 14 which is important okay now see sand is pouring from a pipe at the rate this one 12 centimeter cube what is this volume per second okay sand is pouring so there is a pipe okay from that pipe what happened sand they are pouring right and that uh, in per second they are uh, take and take the pipe has been uh, from the pipe the sand has been taken out how, how much 12 centimeter cube this much volume of sand has been taken out from the pipe in per second okay so they have given the rate this time so rate of what they have given volume okay with respect to time the falling sand forms a cone on the ground okay now when it is volume volume of what you will take sand right sand in what shape it is you have to know so volume they have said the falling sand forms a cone on the ground so let v be the volume of sand which is in the shape of a cone you can write okay which is in the shape of a cone so according to question what they have given dv by with respect to time they have given 12 centimeter cube per second okay okay <clears throat> the falling sand uh, forms a cone on the ground in such a way that the height of the cone is always one sixth so the sand which will fall from the uh, pipe it will be in the shape of a cone okay so they have given the height of this cone will be always suppose height is h height is always one sixth one sixth of the radius of the base radius is suppose r so it will be one sixth of r okay height is always one sixth of r they have given okay <clears throat> okay so what i will do with this now they are asking how fast is the height of the sand cone increasing when the height is four centimeters so basically you have to find out dh by dt how fast right rate they are asking how fast is the height okay of the sand cone height of the sand cone so when you keep on this is your pipe suppose when you keep on throwing sand what will happen the height will keep on increasing right so rate of change of increasing of height we have to find out okay so they have given height is always 1 by 6 of r okay now dh by dt we have to find out okay so how you will find out this dh by dt the given information is this one right so let's see what I can do with this. So V means what? Volume of cone. Volume of cone, you know what is the formula? 1 by 3 pi r square h. This is a portion of cylinder, you know, right? I hope you have studied this one uh, properly in class, uh, in high school level, okay? So 1 by 3, I will not discuss how this formula came again, okay? So 1 by 3 pi r square h, okay? One third of volume of cylinder actually it is right pi is r square h so this formula i'm going to use let's see what i can do d d t of 1 by 3 pi r square h is equal to 12 now i will just cut this one for the timing i have to find dh by dt 
okay now see here in this case okay 1 by 3 pi i can take it outside now see carefully here ddt of r square h is equal to 12 what i need dh by dt now i already have height is equal to how much 1 by 6 r so in this exercise basically i'm telling you you have to play with exercise or the questions again and again okay this exercise question then only you will understand this one properly okay simply following the step whatever i'm explaining will not help you you have to try to analyze yourself and how we are solving the problem that you need to understand you can see in every problem what i used to do is first i write down the given information and then what i have to find out that also i used to write down so using that given information i'm able to find out or not randomly i'm trying from here only because a given information is only this one and this one so with this we'll see what i can do so if i differentiate this one see here i have to this time r is also variable here h also variable so if you differentiate you will be this will be uv form right now what is the use of differentiating that way because i have to find dh by dt and i have this equation so from this equation in place of r can i write 6h if i solve this one r is equal to 6h if i replace this one with 6h you will see only one variable will be there that is h now some student might be thinking that if i replace h by 1 by 6 r that also you can do but what will be the use what do you have to find you have to find dh by dt if you replace here 1 by 6 r then you will get you have to differentiate r cube right so when you differentiate r cube you will get dr by dt extra okay dr by dt we don't have to find we have to find dh by dt that's why we are replacing r with h term okay so what i will do here 1 by 3 pi d d t of r i will replace with 6 h in place of r 6 h square now important this bracket is most of the student used to ignore okay remember this is r square and which one is r this whole thing is your r so everything must be squared okay properly is equal to 12 so in this case 6 square will come outside constant right 1 by 3 pi 6 square into d dt of this will be h square into h h cube is equal to 12 now let's solve this one this is 6 square let's bring every number here this side okay okay here from here you can cancel let me take another page <coughs> Okay, so I can easily cancel this one, 1 by 3, this is 6 into 6, right, 6 into 6 pi, this will be thrice h dh by dt is equal to 12, so 3, 3 gone, 6 into 6 with pi h, let's bring this side, so dh by, can you see, dh by dt already we have in the equation, that's what we have to find out, right, so let's see what I can do now. 12 and then 6 into 6 will come down. Pi will come down. Right? H will come down. So I can cancel this one. 6 into 2. 2 times 1, 2 times 3. So it will be 1 by 3 pi H. Okay? This will be square, sorry, right? h cube right so 3 h square it will be so this will be square this will be square okay so now they have uh, so we got it dh by dt rate of change of height we already got it so 1 by 3 h uh, 3 pi h square now they have asked you when h is equal to 4 okay rate of change of height they have asked you when the height is 4 centimeter so when it is 4 centimeter what is the rate of change of height so when h is equal to 4 centimeter then then dh by dt is equal to how much 1 by 3 pi h square that is 4 square so 4 square is two, uh, 16 right 16 into 3 148 yeah 48 only right 1 by 48 pi okay so this will be your answer okay so dh by dt we got it so this is how we have to solve this application okay so application problem so
derivative try to understand meaning is rate of change and slope of tangent okay so here mostly questions are based on rate so you can see using derivative how we can find out rate of any thing okay